Hi people, it's Sarkovist here and today I want to talk about the repetitive nature of many of our favourite games. When you take a close look at today's games, you'll notice that repetition often sits at the core of the experience. Referring back to last year, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor was very repetitive. Killing Uruk was a regular occurrence and you would kill them in largely the same way. Press X to attack, Y to parry, occasionally unleash a combo attack and maybe even use a Shadow Strike. You could make a single fight pretty varied if you really tried, but if you watch yourself fight 10 times over, the technique will be pretty much the same. And considering I must have gotten into at least 200 fights during my time playing Shadow of Mordor, there's no denying that the game was indeed repetitive when it came to combat. However, this didn't at all stop me from enjoying the game. In fact, I would say it did the opposite. I enjoyed the core mechanics of the combat so much that engaging Uruk over and over again was something I chose to do for the sheer fun of it. Another similar and perhaps more obvious example is Rise Son of Rome. The hack and slash game has a reputation for repetitive combat, and yet it still has its fans. Despite each fight being more or less the same, it's still a lot of fun due to its visceral nature. You feel every strike and every blow you deal to your opponent. Every takedown is a harsh reminder that you are a gladiator not to be messed with. Every roar of the Colosseum crowd is a reassurance of your unyielding might. It's definitely repetitive, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. On the other hand, if you strongly dislike the combat in Rise, chances are you're going to end up disliking the entire game. Because nothing really changes, there's nothing to change your mind. Therefore, Rise is a game that will only truly appeal to people who enjoy its combat and few others. Then again, consistency can be a good thing. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is a game that features two very different gameplay styles. The kind of person that really enjoys sneaking around stealthily like an assassin isn't necessarily going to also like naval combat, and vice versa. Now while many people, including myself, enjoy both gameplay aspects, some gamers may be put off by these two very different styles of play. If you ever read a review that divides a game into pros and cons, repetition will almost always fall under the negative column. But really repetition is just a pejorative term for consistency. For example, someone who hates first person shooters may label Call of Duty as being repetitive, whereas someone who loves them may say it is consistent. However, I'm not advocating that games should be the same all the way through. I believe that the best games will have one consistent element for players to understand, while everything around it changes. For instance, World of Warcraft features very repetitive combat, but you fight monsters across a vast array of zones, dungeons and raids. Diablo uses a similar technique, although I wouldn't say it does it quite as well, simply because there are far fewer zones. Please do let me know if you have anything to say about repetition in video games and whether or not it's fundamentally a bad thing. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.